Hi, John. Sometime in April or May, you did an episode with mobile homes. Like with all of your episodes, you're more in tune and closer than most that do that kind of work. However, there's still a big picture that's missed. And the best thing I can do is partially dissect it for you, and then you'll understand a little bit more about what you need to be looking at as opposed to what you're doing because you're basically in the answer relay business, which means it's not applicable. Nobody can do anything with the information that you provide to the public. That's because the real guts of everything is hidden. So let me explain it to you, okay? This is not about mobile homes, okay? Even though your show was, what I'm going to talk about is not about mobile homes. It's about everything. So you can put mobile homes there, you can put anything there you want. Gasoline, you can put an argument. But it doesn't matter what you put there. What you have are conscionable and unconscionable acts. That's all there is. You can forget about the backgrounds called mobile homes. That's just a background. Okay? So you're going to get rid of all the backgrounds and you're just going to have two things. Conscionable, unconscionable. That's it. Right? You got two people. Now, in your episode, you had Warren Buffett there. So the only question that you should have is, is Warren Buffett a conscionable person or an unconscionable person? That's the question you have to answer. You can forget about all your other questions. Everything that your show had to do with, not important. Zero relevance. The only question you have is, is Warren Buffett a conscionable person or an unconscionable person? That's what you want to know first. Got it? Now. I think he's a conscionable person, but I don't know. But he appears to me to be. But I've never had any conversations with him. I've never seen him direct in action. But he just appears to me. So let's say that you conclude, or it's concluded, that he's a conscionable person. Okay. In your show, what happened was you put up the pictures of Warren and these other guys. And you say, oh, these corporations, right, they're slugs which is true. They're unconscionable corporations. That's the other part you're missing. See, the corporations are just the backgrounds. But you, what you have to apply there is, are they conscionable or unconscionable corporations? Like, what is going on there? Not the stories about what they make and all that other bullshit. Forget about it, okay? You can deal with that later. You got to deal with this at core first. What are we dealing with? So obviously the corporation is an unconscionable corporation. There's no doubt about that, right? That's what your work showed. See, your work showed that the corporation was unconscionable. It didn't show anything about these guys though. See, that's the part I'm trying to bring to your attention, right? So you have to say in conscionable or unconscionable, are they predatory or not? See, are they bullies or not? So if you say the corporation is unconscionable, then who makes the corporation unconscionable? So then you have to look at Warren Buffett. You got to say, okay, Warren, are you a conscionable or unconscionable person? Now, if he's an unconscionable person, then you stop right there and you just, woof, you just go haywire, right? But if he's a conscionable person, then he's being con. Then he's being con. Then he's being con. Because if he's conscionable, he's not going to know that there's some slime ball that's doing this stuff that he's profiting from on the back end. That wouldn't be a conscionable act. Do you understand? So if Warren is a conscionable person, then you have to right away say, listen, he's being conned somehow, some way, because he wouldn't put his name in front of this, knowing that there's slime coming through, because then he would be an unconscionable person. Do you understand? So he doesn't even know. You're putting his picture up like he's a bad guy. But wait a second. He doesn't even know. So you need to go to him and you say, Warren, listen, if you're a conscionable person, who exactly are you dealing with? Okay. And now Warren has to understand, yeah, well, listen, I, this is nothing. I don't want to make money this way. This is not what I did or whatever. However, it turns out. But if that's the avenue, then he's going to want to turn around and go, wait a second. Yeah. Who slimed this stuff through me? Who slimed this through me? Who used me to make these people's lives miserable for some dollars? I didn't know. I just know that this wound up on my balance sheet. I didn't understand any of this stuff. 
I don't know whether I'm responsible for not, whether I don't, not talking about that at all, whether he should have known. That's all story based bullshit. I don't care about any of that stuff. None of it. That's bullshit. I'm looking at core. Who is this being? And what is he doing? Because you're going to find out afterwards, because afterwards, if he says, yeah, I'm a conscionable person and then turns around and doesn't do anything. No, 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 no. That doesn't work that way. You understand? If you're a conscionable person, you're not going to allow unconscionable acts to take place, especially if they're coming through you. Okay. So that's how you deal with this stuff. And then your show would have said, okay, this is where we are in finding out how this occurs and who is behind it. Because those people, they're doing a whole lot of shit. This is just one of their backgrounds. See, and Warren is basically the ignorant front guy. He doesn't really know unless he's an unconscionable guy. You see? So that's what you have to deal with. Everything else is just background bullshit. See, and then you give people what to look for. You have to turn around and go back through the slime. That's why the American Psychological Association, every time something comes up, they next chapter everybody. Next chapter, next chapter. Yeah, you want to move on. You want to move on. You know what I mean? Like Mitt Romney, you know, playing reverse psychology like a 12 year old. Yeah, the Democrats are not going to really do well because, you know, they want to, you know, stay here in the economy and everybody, you know, the people, they want to go move forward. They don't want to, you know, stay in the same place. You know, he's like a 12 year old. Do you understand? Like he's playing reverse psychology game. No, Mitt, uh, let me tell you what's going to happen. They're going to stay in the sludge and they're going to clean it all up, in which you're going to wind up sliding into it. Okay. Now, John, I just want to be clear that's only a partial dissection see john what you have is like a complaint then answer relay so you get a complaint which is an answer from somebody else like the answer to their problem is a complaint right so the, you take their answer they relay it to you okay now you have their answer and then you're going to relay it so there's nothing going to go on other than that for the people zero nothing's going to occur nobody's going to get off the chair because there's nothing to do. You understand? It's DOA. It's dead on arrival. These All these shows are. The only thing that you actually produced... <laughs> well, I should get into this now. But anyway, the piece you did with uh, Ed Snowden, when he basically gave the parts, and then he said basically everything is designed to aim out, and they turned it in as well. That section there, that's gold. Okay, that's applicable stuff, really applicable stuff. If it's packaged right, it could be really, really great. You see, that's the kind of stuff that you need that will relay through people that's beneficial to the people. You understand? Because right now they're getting all this bullshit from everybody. You need to get away from the stories and to the actions. The actual actions. Who is creating the actions? Let's go back. See, you're all just detailing and playing with the complaints after the fact. It's all after the fact. And you want to know why things keep getting worse because you're always in after the fact. You're just cleaning up their mess. They already created the mess. These people are complaining for years. You see? And your show is not going to fix it, right? They're still there, I'm sure. Right. So it doesn't do anything, nor does it do anything for the next generation. And these people know that. You understand, John? They know this, so they'll let you do all these shows all you want because it doesn't do anything. It's just all story based. See, you have to take it out of story and put it into the actions, and then you have to go through their actions. That's where you have to get your data to provide through their actions. You go back the action, so you have to go to Warren. Warren, what's the deal? You don't just stick his picture up with these other people. What the hell? He looks like, what is that? Like a, a, a ten, the three most wanted? I mean, what? Yeah, all of a sudden he's guilty. He doesn't even know what the hell happened, probably. If he's a conscionable guy, he doesn't even really know what happened. He probably just got winded us whenever. And, you know, it's already done. What's he got? I mean, I'm just saying, I don't know. Maybe he's an unconscionable prick. I have no idea. But if he's a conscionable guy, your story, that's what it needs to define on the trail back to the slime. Do you understand? See, there aren't any answers. There's just questions. So you're providing a show and you want to make it like you're providing answers to somebody, but there are no answers. There's questions. There's just inquiry. That's all there is. And that's how you have to leave people. Do you understand? That's how their brain starts to work. But you just want to give them answers. They're going to get answer. They're going to relay it. They're not involved at all. You understand? And then you don't have really a society that's involved. So you got one guy 
showing stuff on TV and everybody else is like bobbing heads. <laughs> do you know what I'm saying? It doesn't do anything. And even though you're somewhat closer than some of these other people, it still doesn't, you're still after the fact. So it doesn't really matter. You understand? You're still in the after the fact lane. You're just basically cleaning up their mess and it doesn't do anything. It's just going to get worse after your show. It's not going to get better. It's not going to change anything. Why? Because you haven't gotten to the slime. You just are talking about the crap that they create, but you don't know who the they are. Why don't you just focus on who the they are and then you'll stop all of the slime? Do you understand? That's how it works. That's how you have to do it. You have to go back through the actions. Forget about all the stories. Just the actions is all you want to follow. See? Then you'll wind up on somebody's door. And then that person will have children because they violate everybody's children, right? Okay, well, they'll have children. And their children will know that their parent is a slime ball. And their children's classmates will know all this. You understand? And that's how it simmers in the slime area. You understand? It's a little like slime pool there of who creates the slime. Got it? Otherwise, what's your deterrent? Your show? You don't know who they are. So what's your deterrent? You're going to yell about a flag or a sign or a corporate name. They don't give a shit. That's why that stuff's out there. So what's your deterrent? You got titles and categories and names. Oh, my. Titles and categories and names. Oh, my. That's just all divide and conquer, confusion stuff. That's all that stuff is. You just have to look at the actions. There's just one action. See? There's just one action. And while I'm on the topic... There's another slime thing that these people do through these corporations, which is when they find out of the stuff going on. Now, I'm not saying this is with Warren, but this is what they do. They have something called, I have a fiduciary duty to the stockholders. And they use that to put slime through like you have no idea. You understand? But the part that they're missing is that tells they're an unconscionable because their duty is to the stockholders. And the stockholders don't want a company that produces slime and abuses citizens. Because they're the citizens. Do you understand? So they're saying, I have a fiduciary duty to abuse you because you bought stock from us. That's all they're doing. They just abuse everybody. And then they say, well, they can't tell anybody because they have a fiduciary duty. But they want to make it look like it's to the stock. It's not to the stock. It's the actual people. But you can't slime them. And then say, I have a fiduciary duty not to report that we slimed you. Because you're a stockholder. <laughs> You know, it's all psychotic bullshit. And just so I'm clear, John, you do have that one applicable piece. I haven't seen all your shows, that's for sure. Uh, but just so you understand, the average applicable piece in all of the documentary stuff that I see or all of the host shows and all that other stuff is zero. Just so you know. You understand? And that goes with the documentaries as well. Like Michael Moore has two, but he doesn't know it. Uh, Leah Romini has one. It's the best one of all. Um, so it's like that. They're very few and far between, but you don't need a whole lot of them. You see, because they're powerful and they speak at core. So there's no arguments and discussions. And he said, she said, and all that bullshit, which is what they use to confuse. Oh, and this is not some one trick pony situation. This is set up where you can learn and you will learn how to do all this yourself. So will everybody else. You'll know what you're looking at and what you're dealing with. Know what I'm saying? It comes all included and it's free. Free. Free for humanity. You know, people always refer to changing the world with some device. The fact of the matter is, that's what's happening. Except the device is us. Kids, be the source or buy bullshit.